And I'm going to be cooking some pinto beans. I'll cook them the way my mama used to cook them. I only use half the bag, which is around half a pound. Now you have to soak those overnight. Add a teaspoon of baking soda and to the water and soak them. And then you rinse them real good, which I've already done. And then you look through there like that to make sure there's no rocks. Remember I used to help helping my mom do that look for rocks. And she either used our bad beans and bad beans too. Doesn't take much. She used salt pork or ham hock, whatever she had. But, yep, this with rice and cornbread. Six kids and mom and dad, that was meals in a lot of days. It fed us, though. You know? Some of the skin came off, but that's okay. But it filled us up. Um, so what you do, let me fill this up with water. Okay, now you're going to have to put quite a bit of water in there because you don't want them to burn. Then you put your, start boiling it on like a medium high heat. You put like a teaspoon of salt in there. I just, that's probably about a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Now you're going to get your fat back. You put bacon in there. Um, I have a ham hock, so I'm just going to use the ham hock. That's a big one, too. And we're going to start getting that boiling and I'll be back. And those that have never cooked beans from scratch before, make sure that you rinse out your pot and wash it before you add your beans back in because you want to get all of that um, out of there from the baking soda and rinse the beans really good and check them. You don't want to bite into a rock. Uh, rock or swallow one. Um, okay. Okay, it's starting to boil. I'm going to get it to a full boil. And then we'll um, turn it down to a medium low. Every stove is different, so on mine that'll be like three, and then it'll simmer for two hours. And this is how my mama always cooked them. Alright, it's starting to boil now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that down to uh, medium low. Then you cover it, and I'm going to cook it for an hour, then we'll come back and add the onions, and see how close they are to being done. Alrighty, so this has been cooking an hour, 
and I got it on medium low. Still, they're still far from being done. But right now, I'm going to add some chopped onions. I cut them in like chunks like that. You know, onions, they cook down. So, you can cut them smaller if you would like. So what I'm going to do is cover these and let them cook for another hour and we'll come back and chuck them. And then when they get close to getting done, then I'll check to see if it needs more salt or pepper, you know. Um, but I need to put the butter in now too. I'm going to go in and put two tablespoons of butter in there. And then we'll cover it up. Okay. When you're when make sure that you put plenty of water to cover the beans because as it cooks, the water will cook down. Okay. So you want to make sure you have plenty. And to come back and stir it ever so often so that the beans don't stick to the bottom. So I'd say about every 30 minutes come and check to make sure that it that isn't sticking. Okay, so everything is done. I got the beans done. They cooked two and a half hours. Ham hock in there. Um, take the bone out and throw it away. Got rice. Need some rice. Some Giffy cornbread. It smells really good. Now with the beans that you have to keep an eye on them. Make sure they don't stick to the bottom, but when they're like this. And they smush, and you know they're done. I'm gonna try it. Make sure, see if it has enough salt. They're hot. Yeah, a little bit more salt in there. Just a little bit. Don't need much. I'd say probably half a more teaspoon. Now, when you cook, first start cooking them. You you're gonna cut uh put enough water to um, cover the beans and keep an eye on it. So. If it needs a little bit more water, then you're going to have to add more water. But you want them it cooked down like like that, almost like a soup. Okay, I'm going to plate this up. Don't you see the see the ham in there? Mmm. Put some juice, and I got the rice down in there. So, yeah, my parents made this quite a bit to feed all of us kids. I said there were six of us. And I'm going to cut a piece of cornbread. Okay, and there's the cornbread. 